United States will start deploying long-range fire capabilities in Germany in 2026, the United States and Germany said in a joint statement. The White House announced the United States will begin episodic deployments of the long-range fire's capabilities of its multi-domain task force, MDTF, in Germany in 2026 as part of planning for enduring stationing of these capabilities in the future. When fully developed, these conventional long-range fires units will include SM-6, Tomahawk, and developmental hypersonic weapons, which have significantly longer range than current land-based fires in Europe. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the deployment of long-range U.S. missiles in Germany would be a step towards a new Cold War. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Ground-based missiles with a range exceeding 500 kilometers were banned until 2019 under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty signed by the Soviet Union's Mikhail Gorbachev and former U.S. President Ronald Reagan in 1987. It was the first instance where the two superpowers agreed to reduce their nuclear arsenals, eliminating an entire category of weapons. Following their lead, Germany, Hungary, Poland, and the Czech Republic destroyed their missiles in the 1990s, with Slovakia and Bulgaria doing so later. In 2019, the United States withdrew from the INF Treaty alleging that Moscow was violating the agreement with the development of the 9M729 ground-launched cruise missile, known in NATO as the SSC-8. The Kremlin repeatedly denied these accusations. At the end of June, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that Moscow should resume production of intermediate and shorter-range nuclear-capable missiles, citing the United States' deployment of similar missiles in Europe and Asia. Putin stated that while Russia had pledged not to deploy such missiles, the United States had resumed their production, brought them to Denmark for exercises, and also taken them to the Philippines. He seems to be referring to the Typhon system, which can launch both Tomahawk and SM-6 missiles. The announcement came after Germany gave the U.S. the green light to deploy longer-range weapons inside its borders. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said in Washington, We know that there's been an incredible arms buildup in Russia with weapons that threaten European territory. The party of Chancellor Olaf Scholz of Germany said the move was needed to deter and contain Russia. The two smaller coalition partners as well as the largest opposition party, are also in agreement. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told a state TV reporter, We're taking steady steps towards the Cold War. All the attributes of the Cold War with the direct confrontation are returning. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov argued accusing NATO and the U.S. of trying to intimidate Russia. This is just a link in the chain of a course of escalation. He stated, without nerves, without emotions, we will develop a military response, first of all, to this new game. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered, subsonic cruise missile. Depending on the variant, the missile has a maximum range of 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers. Block 5 is the latest one and has two variants, 5A and 5B. The Block 5A variant is called Maritime Strike, designed to take on enemy warships, while Block 5B features the JMEWS, or Joint Multi-Effects Warhead System, 
and is able to destroy a wide variety of stationary assets, soft targets like parked aircraft, as well as hardened ones like bunkers. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile, or ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM6, has been deployed by the U.S. Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare ERAAW, purposes and is capable of neutralizing a wide range of ballistic and non-ballistic threats. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. Its high-velocity and quasi-ballistic missile mode of attack makes it difficult to defend against and defeat. SM-6 has a max speed of Mach 3.5 a range of 230 miles or 370 kilometers, and a 140 pound or 64 kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. It's unclear which hypersonic weapon could be in the scheme of things for deployment in Germany, as none of them are operationally ready and the US military is working on nine such initiatives. Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, or LRHW, Dark Eagle, may be one of the candidates. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has made many European countries uneasy and somewhat fearful. Countries like Germany and the United Kingdom have, to an extent, neglected their armed forces for the last two decades or so, especially when it comes to having standoff strike capabilities. Scanty induction of new weapons, limited inventory, and low capacity of production lines are key issues. Most reports indicate that without U.S. support, they won't be able to sustain a long-term conflict. Germany's Taurus cruise missiles can only travel about 500 kilometers, or about 310 miles, and are launched by aircraft. But the distance from Berlin to Moscow is about 1,600 kilometers, or 1,000 miles. So currently, it has limited options when it comes to having weapons that can reach Russian territory, while Russia has several conventional and nuclear weapons that can reach Germany. The planned deployment is evidently only envisaged as a stopgap arrangement. Defense Minister Pistorius told Deutschland Funk that this is clearly linked to the expectation of the U.S., and rightly so, that we invest in the development and procurement of such ranged weapons ourselves. He explained, We are talking here about an increasingly serious gap in capability in Europe. It would give Germany the time to develop its own weapons. It's not hard to see that the world is moving towards a more dangerous situation, somewhat like the Cold War era. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.